In this tutorial, what we're going to do now is flesh out the content. So in the previous tutorials, what we did is we looked for all the content that was persistent and we put that on the slide master. So if we come here, we've got our slide master and we put all our persistent content on there. Now these are our hyperlink shapes. We're going to fix that. Um, we're going to make those transparent when we're all done. So I've got those hyperlink shapes. I've applied the layout to all of these slides. So that just going up here and select layout. And so all these slides have the same content and the hyperlink. So they should all bounce around when we preview it. The only thing is we can't tell what's what because they all look exactly the same. So now what we're going to do is put content on here that's unique to the slide. And that'll then finish up our interaction. So the first thing we want to do is let's go back to the slide master. And I'm going to select the image which I have here. So I hit Control C to copy it. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to slide one. And slide one is our main slide, right? So we're going to do Control V. And that's going to have the image. Now you can see it's covering up the hyperlinking. That's okay because we're going to put a hyperlink on this image. So just go ahead, hit Control K. And what we want to do is add a hyperlink that's going to go to slide two or the intro panel. Because the first slide is our kind of main slide and then that's kind of our introduction to the scenario and then this will be our intro panel and then we'll have the other panels to collect information. So we're going to make sure it hyperlinks to slide two. Hit OK. And we want this to be colored. So I just have to double click on this, go to color and then I'll just go back to no recoloring. So this is the original image. And so it looks really nice here with the black uh, border and everything. It's got a hyperlink. When I click the hyperlink, it's going to go to slide two. Now, once I at slide two, I can click any of these boxes and jump around. So we need to put content on here specific to the slide. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ignore the text content because that's just a matter of putting text on this on this slide. But we're going to we're going to customize the look of the panels. So I'm going to start with this image here. So I hit Control C, and I'm going to come to image or slide two, hit control V and paste it. Now if I double click on this, this will open up the formatting option. I've got the crop toolbar. Now here's a couple of bonus tips when you're doing this. One is I can crop, but I've got to crop to the black line. And you can see the black line's not very uh, thick. So it's possible that when I crop it, it's going to let some of these other panels bleed through. And that's just not going to look right. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to crop it inside the black line. Now to make it look like there's a black line, I'm actually just going to have the shape have a black, a thicker black border on it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll crop it. And we're going to actually work on this first panel here. So we've got the crop tool. So we're going to crop and we're going to crop this panel here. And again, I'm going to go inside the shape. So I'm not, I want to make sure I'm avoiding the black line. It doesn't even have to be perfect because um, uh, we're going to cover it all up with our black box. So I've got my shape here. Now you can see uh, the other thing is I want to make this a little larger. So I'm going to scale it up. So I want to put a black border on this. So I'm just going to go to home, do a shape outline. We're going to choose the, we'll just choose the six point border and it's black by default. And uh, so now it's it's lined up. So it really doesn't matter where I put it because um, it's going to be lined up with the black. The other thing is you can put a little shadow. So I'll put a shadow that always goes from the direction of the uh, corner. So in this case, I'm just going to do shape, uh, shape effects, shadow, and I'm going to choose a shadow that kind of points um, from the corner. So that looks really nice. Um, it's a little larger. The reason I made it larger, one is because uh, sometimes when you publish these things, they nudge just a little so you can notice the nudging. But if you make it larger, it's just going to get large anyway. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to slide three. We're going to paste this. Now what we want to do on slide three is we want to work on this image. All the bordering and all this stuff is going to remain intact. All I have to do is double click and crop it. I'm going to crop the shape and then uh, I'm going to crop this to this shape just inside the black box, right? And then the only thing I have to do here is move it 
and again doesn't really need to be perfect and if you want to mess with the shadow and make it come from the corner you can do picture effects shadow and then we'll do it from the corner and then uh, I would repeat that so I'm going to copy this come over here paste and then the only thing I'm going to do here same thing is cropping uh, this persistent cropping is kind of nice I mean this the, it, it keeps the image and then I just have to move this down and you can see it's already going to be scaled so it's larger um, and it doesn't even matter if it's perfect or not just because when you're clicking it's going to it's going to move anyway so I'll move that up a little and then same thing control C we'll do number four here oh, five and then we're going to do that crop it again and let's go ahead and crop this down to this one um, might have to make this a little larger here so let's crop this uh, come on why is this there you go this is the type of stuff that annoys me sometimes okay so we're going to crop this here and um, let's uh, let's crop that in here this is cropped in here inside the black lines okay I'm going to move this up here this looks good enough to me I, I can change the again change the shadows so we're going to change the shadows to go to the corner and then we've got one more to do so we're going to control C come to slide 6 control V and uh, same thing we're going to crop it and um, we've got our image here we're going to do that on the inside of the image and we'll just move this over here and we've got that this just needs to be in line and so again I'm going to change the shadow so the shadow goes up to the corner so uh, what we should have now if we preview this is this jumping around to the slide so everything works exactly the way we want it to the only thing we need to do now is uh, hide these um, hyperlink shapes and then you can add your content on here so let's go ahead go back to the slide master and I'm going to go to the blue shape the first one I want to do is I want to make this 100% uh, transparent and also or no fill no border so I'm going to go to format uh, shape fill is going to be none and shape outline will be none now while this is still selected I'm going to go to home double click on format painter and then I can just apply that to the other shapes so now nobody knows there's a shape there that's why the selection pane uh, comes in handy and having a title on here lets me know where it goes so now if we preview this uh, we've got our hyperlink shape we can get started and you can see as I click through this um, I've got this little interactive scenario and then it's just a matter of adding your own content to the slides